Sairam children, welcome back to our maths class. We will continue with lesson number six, division. Now, let's see. We have finished with divide equally, division as repeated subtraction, relation between multiplication and division, long division method. Today, we will learn the concept of remainder. Now, do you remember in our last class, long division method, we have learned some new terms that is dividend, divisor and quotient. Today, I will explain you the concept of remainder. The number left over after dividing two numbers is called remainder. Now, I will explain you. Now, here you can see four cookies. Distribute four cookies among three children. So, can you distribute four cookies among three children? So, let's try. Okay. Now, give one cookie. Cut it out. Two. Three. So, here you can have distributed among three children. And now, this one cookie is left out. Now, let's do this by a division method. Now, what you will write? Divide 4 by 3. First, let's, let, let me explain. Then, you will note down in your notebook. So, write 4 here, it is the dividend and 3 is the divisor. Now, what you have to do? You have to say the multiplication table of 3. So, 3 ones are 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 threes are 9. We are not getting, after saying the tables, 4 anywhere, anywhere we are not getting. So, what we have to do? You have to take the number which is very close to this 4. Okay. So, 3 to the 6 is close. No, it is bigger than 4. 3, 3 is a 9. 9 is also a bigger number. Okay. It is bigger than 4. So, what we can take? Okay. Sorry children, write 4. Huh? We can take 3 ones are 3. Okay, so write 1 and 3 here. Because 3 is close to this 4. Now 4 minus 3, 1. Now this 1 is remaining. It is called the remainder. Okay, what it is called? Remainder, the new term, the new term which, have, which we have learned today is remainder. Note down in your notebook, write the tables like this and then do it. Okay, now distribute five mangoes among two girls. Two girls give one mango, two mango, okay, three, then four. Now, this one mango is left out. So, it is the remainder. Now, we will do in our notebook. Now, question B, divide. 5 by 2. Now, 5 is the dividend. Right inside. 2 is the divisor. Now, let's divide. See the tables of 2. 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4. 2 threes are 6. So, we are not getting 5 anywhere in the tables of 2. So, 
what we will write which number we will take two ones are two no then two threes are six no six is greater than five we will write it two twos are four okay now write two twos are four five minus four one so here two is the quotient and one is the remainder okay note down in your notebook okay divide 5 by 2 1 is the remainder we are getting the remainder 1 divide 12 by 5 now where we will write 12 12 is the dividend 5 is the divisor now see the tables of 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 so what we will do no not this 15 is bigger than 12 greater number we will take this 5 twos are 10 so 2 okay this 2 is the quotient and now write 10 here now what you have to do do the subtraction 2 minus 0 is 2 and 1 minus 1 is 0 so 2 is the remainder okay this 2 is quotient this 12 is div uh, dividend this 5 is divisor and 2 is remainder you have to take the number which is closer to it you will not take the greater number okay you will not take 15 because 15 is greater than 12 so number 10 5 twos are 10 we have done okay note down in your notebook understood now the same thing I have explained here okay so this 12 that is the total number and this 5 is number of groups 2 is number in each group and this 2 is number left over okay that means it is the quotient dividend divisor and remainder today you have learned about remainder okay is it clear to you children do in your notebook finished now one more concept of remainder 26 divided by 5 equal to so now try yourself write down where you will write 26 26 now 5 say the tables of 5 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 threes are 15 5 fours are 20 5 fives are 25 5 six are 30 now this will no 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 so 30 no 30 is greater than 26 
so this one five fives are twenty five now six minus five one two minus two is zero and this is called remainder do it in your notebook done all are getting five as question and one is the remainder okay five is quotient 26 is dividend 5 is the divisor and 1 is the remainder. Correct? Concepts of remainder. Sometimes the divisor does not divide the dividend completely and a number is left over. This number is called remainder. Okay? Now here you can see 26 divided by 4 so 4 6 are 24 now 4 5s are 20 and 4 7s are 28 so this 24 is closer to 26 so 4 6 are 24 and after subtracting 6 minus 4 2 is the remainder Okay. Now, do your classwork. Write classwork here. Question A. Now, see here, write the remainder in the following problems. It has been done in your book. The question is given, only you have to write the remainder. Now 28 divided by 3, 3 nines are 27, now 8 minus 7, 1, 1 is the remainder. Question B, 40 divided by 6, 6, 6 are 36, now you have to do the subtraction, so this 0, make 10 here, now 10 minus 6, 10 is there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, how many left? 4. Okay. 4 and this cross out 4. 1 less than 4 make it 3. Okay, children do the rough work. 3 minus 3 is 0. So, 4 is the remainder. Question C. 25 divided by 7. 7 3s are 21. Then 5 minus 1 is 4. 2 minus 2 is 0. 4 is the remainder. Question D. 80 divided by 9. 9 is are 72. Again from here. From 10. Okay. Make it 10. 10 minus 2. 8. And this 8 make 1 less. Then make it 7. And 0. So 8 is the remainder. Check the answers. Correct? You have done. Circle the remainder in the following problems. You have to circle the remainder. Okay? 38 divided by 5. The remainder is 3. Question B. Remainder is 1. Circle it. Question C. Remainder is 2. Question D. Remainder is 4. Okay. Finished. Now, classwork. Write true or false. Question A. 30 divided by 3 equal to 10. So, see the tables of 3. Is it? True? Yes. Two. True. Okay. Three tens are 30. Question B. Any number divided by 1 results in 1? False. Question C. 0 divided by any number is 0? 
टू क्वेश्चन डी फोर्टी टू डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स इक्वल टू सेवन सी द टेबल्स ऑफ सिक्स सिक्स सेवन जो फोर्टी टू मीन्स सिक्स इंटू सेवन इज फोर्टी टू इट इज ट्रू ओके ट्रू फॉल्स ट्रू ट्रू करेक्ट फिनिश्ड Now divide by repeated subtraction. Correct the numbers in the circles wherever needed. Now question A. Ten divided by two. Say the tables of two. Two ones are two. Two twos are four. Two threes are six. Two fours are eight. Two fives are ten. So how many times two will be here? Five times. So correct ten minus two two. Then cross it. Then write two here again. Cross this five and write two here. So we are getting five times two. Question B: Forty divided by eight. Eight ones are eight. Eight twos are sixteen. Eight threes are twenty-four. Then eight fours are thirty-two. Eight fives are forty. So eight should come here five times. Forty minus Write eight here. Again, write eight here and write eight here. So you can see five times eight. Okay. Now divide and find the quotient. This is your homework. Twelve divided by two. See the tables of two and do it. Question B: thirty-five divided by five. Question C: twenty divided by four. Question D: ninety divided by ten. Okay. So it is clear, children. What is remainder? The number left over. After dividing two numbers is called the remainder. Okay, write the tables. Find out which number is closer to the dividend. Do the subtraction, and whatever is left out, that is the remainder. Okay. Thank you, children. Bye.